Hey guys, Mike, the young guy. Uh, so, I got the GoPro out. I shot uh, all this video that I'm about to talk about on the GoPro 10. And that thing is a piece of shit. Uh, halfway into the video, it overheated, shut off. Uh, I have another video from back in September of 2021, if you want to go look. That thing was a piece of shit from day one. Uh, everybody still has problems with it, but re regardless uh, of that, I wanted to do a video. We're back in the, uh, the laboratory here. Uh, I want to do a video on batteries. So... I just posted a video, and I did it on cell phones, of uh, these handy-dandy uh, solar packs. And I have one downstairs that's been sitting down there now for... I took it on, turned it on, because I can watch it on the uh, surveillance system. And that way, when I do, it does finally go off, uh, I'll be able to go back and find out when it died. But... Uh, it's been down there five hours now running strong and uh, I was just down there and checked it and it's still at four uh, four of these little dots where that one's at one uh, this one I'm going to completely run flat from there we're already at one dot uh, and this is actually the one that char it charged up a little bit but I want this thing dead so I need to put it somewhere where I can't see it shining on me I want it dead dead so I can uh, take it out and see how long it takes it to completely charge back up just from the sun so with that running flat we got the other one running on a test let's talk about the the next evolution. Actually, we're going to talk about what started all this for me. Uh, so, I pulled out my EDC gun. I uh, pulled it out of the safe. And, uh, the first thing I do when I check my EDC is, uh, I, lo I carry, right now I carry Glock 45, uh, Romeo Zero on it. Uh, I leave the armor on it. And I keep a Surefire. Now there's strobe coming if you're uh, if you're uh, uh, epileptic. Don't look at the screen. But this will even strobe too. So I carry this gun every day. Uh, I pull it out and I must have I, I, I had done a pretty good trip the day before and I must have had been leaning on the power switch and I had killed the battery in the Surefire. Uh, or I'm sorry, Streamlight. TLR1HL. Uh, the HL is the high lumen or whatever. <clears throat> well, then I noticed that my dot was a little dim. Not bad, just a little, right? So I thought, you know what? Before I do anything, I made a change. Change of batteries and everything. So, I went looking for a battery, which just takes a CR2032, I believe. Uh, didn't have one here at the house. Well, I went and I pulled out my handy-dandy... Oh, and I didn't have one in the shop, either. Uh, that was the part that sucked, because I live above my gun store. So, I went and I pulled my handy-dandy... It turned out we were out of Surefire batteries down there, too. So I pull, go to my backpack, and I pull out my handy-dandy little Surefire battery carrier. And I open it up. These things are very well sealed. And there's one battery in there. Well, shit. So now I've got a gun that the optics are about to run out on. Or felt like they were going to. And there might as well not be a light on it, but my holster is light bearing, so it's pretty hard to carry it. Not like I can't just put it in a Glock 19 holster, but you get the idea. 
Uh, so I jump on Amazon because that's the quickest and easiest place I'm going to find batteries. Well, I start to think, so what happens if, and I'm not looking, I mean, I don't, whatever your beliefs are as far as what's coming next, whether you believe in an economic disaster, whether you believe in nothing, whether you believe in zombies or velociraptors or a, whatever, I don't care, it doesn't matter, but Let's assume that, for whatever reason, you don't have electricity for a while. Maybe it's a week, maybe it's a month, maybe it's a year, maybe it's whatever. doesn't matter. I have a lot of high-end optics that are battery-dependent. Uh, I have plenty of EOTEX, plenty of other red dots on various firearms. And as I get older, I mean, when I, when I enlisted in the Army, the, uh, the guy at MEPS told me, that I was the first person he had ever tested with true 2010 vision in both eyes. Uh, now, I still have really good vision. I feel like I'm blind. But up close, I need reading glasses. That's what happens as you get older. If you're 30 and 40 or 20 years old, or whatever, however old you are, and you're watching, uh, watching this go, man, I wish I didn't have them problems. Uh, don't worry, you will. It's coming. So... I have become addicted to my red dot optics. I like my dot optics on handguns. Can I still shoot with irons? Of course I can. I'm faster this way. It's not... Uh, it's not... It's cheating. And honestly, if you're an inexperienced shooter, it's immediately the way to go. So anyway, get on Amazon and I start looking at rechargeable batteries well the old rechargeable batteries that use the you know the big case with you know you slide it in there them suck they're pain in the ass uh so i started looking through rechargeable batteries and i came across usb rechargeable batteries that use a cable that looks a lot like, oh not looks like this it is this right so, here is where I've got so far. Now, we're going to talk about some of this as we go. This video is not just for you if you're looking for the end of the world. Uh, if you have kids, if you spend money on batteries at all, I probably was buying three of the big bricks of AA batteries a year. And probably one brick of triple A's, maybe. And two or three packages of nine volts that I would use one battery out of and then lose the rest. CR 123A's. Uh, probably a, a brick of 10 a year. Maybe two bricks of 10, depending on how hard I'm training. So. I got thinking, what if I took that money, not to mention the button batteries, what if I started taking that money and putting it into rechargeables? You can charge these things a thousand times. Some of them, and we're going to do a test on all the different brands, uh, I'm actually headed to get some flashlights today to start that testing. Uh, these claim they get 1,500 charges. And all of these claim, these lithium ions, they will stay at up to 80% of their initial value, of their initial uh, capacity through the lifetime of their charging cycle. So, just these CR123As, which are... Where's my mouse? I have too many screens. Here, mouse, there it is. Uh, a pack of four of them CR123As was uh, 
apparently missing in action. Where the hell is it? Well, they're gone. That's where they are. Let me go back and find them. Sorry. Uh, I'm not one of these pre-edited video guys, if that's what you're waiting. If you want, I buy everything. I pay for everything here. Nobody sent me anything. Uh, I don't take bribes from companies to give them good reviews. I bought this shit, and if it sucks, I'll tell you. So, these batteries were 2347. I got four of them, which is $5.86 piece. Now, these say you get a thousand charges out of them. Let's say you don't. Let's say you get 500 charges out of them. Uh, divided by 500. That is one cent a piece. Who cares if they last exactly as long as Surefire's do? Uh, they probably don't. We're going to test that. Uh, I mean, these do have 800 milliamp hours, which the Surefire batteries, I think, claim. Man, that thing's tight to get over. Oh, jeez. I don't know where my, my cheating spectacles went. Right. Told you getting old sucks. Doesn't say. I don't know how many milliamp hours they are. Uh, I will tell you, just thinking back, I know over the years I've lost two or three of these cases out of backpacks, full batteries. So there is that. But we're going to test a fully charged set against of these against a fully charged set of Surefires. And see what the real drain difference is, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, but these things are cool. So you can charge four at a time with this. And it uses the micro USB. And it just, when you get it lined up the right way, plugs in like so. And then you plug them into any USB port. Hence, the battery pack, which we'll talk about. Now, as you look down here, you can see I'm getting a variety. The ELBs in this video is not paid for, sponsored. They didn't give me anything. I bought everything. The ELBs so far seem to be fantastic. Uh, I bought this set of bump batteries. This is the one Amazon's pumping down your throat when you type in USB rechargeables. They have a kit, and I actually put that kit on uh, on reacquiring order so I could get another 15% off of it. They have a kit that comes with two triple A's and two double A's. That'll reorder every month and as I build my stock up. And then I, saw, I ran across, because this thing had uh, Holes for C and D's. I thought, well, I might as well get some C and D's and at least have them in there. Uh, that's when I ran across. I ain't even sure what that brand is, to be honest with you. They're a little bit different in that they are USB C charging. I don't know where. I, I thought I had all this pulled open. I'm sorry. Uh, whatever the green band is. That was D1, that's 5. These are, they only, now their charger only gets two USB-Cs. Plugs in the same way. I can tell you, I'm probably not ordering any more of these. And I'll tell you why. One, in the middle there's a separator deal in there. And I don't know that it has to be there or doesn't. But it seems pretty easy to break 
and then on the tripways, and I didn't know, realize this until after I played with it, they have to go in at an angle. And I almost broke one trying to go straight in with it because that's, I mean, there was no, there's no instructions. You just get a box full of batteries. Now, like the, the JBLs still use the micro USB, but they go in uh, straight. So they do. Uh, as do the bumps. I think. I'm sure they do. No, they're in this, they go sideways. Even better. But, uh, and they actually go sideways here, too. Uh, this had a place for the button batteries. CR1, or CR2032s, which is what the, uh, Romeos use, and then I got some CR, whatever those ones are, bigger ones. I'm sorry, these are CT because they are rechargeable. Uh, that's actually the 2032. These are different. 20, uh, 2025s, yeah. Uh, I got some of the button batteries for my red dots, uh, whether it's the SIGs or the, uh, the Vortex or whatever, I've got several different red dot, dot optics. So I got batteries for all that, and they have a cool little charger, which we'll get to in a moment. Well, then I go back to JBL's website. They don't have C and D batteries. They have these adapters. The adapters allow you to take any uh, AA battery, push it up in there, and use it in a field expedient, I guess, version. So after I bought these, and these are all the C's and the D's are EBL brand, I guess is the best way to put it. After I found these, I thought, for you 3D printer guys, I wonder if somebody's got a print for that on Thingiverse, and sure enough, they're there. Tons of them there. Uh, a couple different cool design concepts. I bought these. They're uh, purpose-built. They were six bucks for like four of them. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. It was six bucks for four of the C's and six bucks for four of the D's. Now, you don't get as many milliamp hours in a double A as you do in a, a C or a D, but what you do get is rechargeability. Uh, now, these, the bigger D's and the C's, they USB C as well. Nine volts, gun safes, multimeters, things like that. I figured six of them was enough. I did try the green top ones, which I wish I knew the name of them. I don't have them pulled up. Uh, I bought two of the green ones because they are higher uh, milliamp hours. Then I went looking for a case because if you don't have something to put all this in, uh, you're going to lose it, right? So I bought this case. Where is it? Because it is water... It's not waterproof. It is water resistant. It is highly water resistant. Uh, it came with this battery tester, which is just kind of handy to have in there if you're gonna. I mean, if you're just gonna have a battery, what or why not? That way you can look at your batteries and see are they charged. Get in there. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. So, I can see if my batteries are charged. Uh, it'll test 9 volts. It actually lived where this is, and I cut that out the rest of the way. Uh, over here, because I didn't feel like I needed uh, 9, 9 volts, 6 is probably enough in my world. I took one of the battery cases, because they all come in these plastic cases. 
I took one of them battery cases and in here I put an extra set of all the cords. Uh, I have one in there, actually I have two in there for uh, the USB, the micro USB and one for the USB-C. Up here in these pockets I have all kinds of handy dandy stuff including the charger which I can take it out of that box. I just threw the box in there. Including the charger for the button batteries. It's USB and you take and you just put your battery in there like so and then plug it in. And it charges them. All these batteries have the the, the smallest one says thousand recharges. So we're talking if you get to half of that we're talking a penny a piece. This is good for the environment if you're one of the, you know, the, oh, when you, and you know what, lithium Duracell batteries, have, you know, there's a pile of them in any dump you go to, I promise you. Uh, in these other pockets, which this is removable, I put, uh, you know, packets of the CR32s and all that as they came in. And I stack more and more, all the extra, char every time you buy four batteries, you get another charger cord. So I got a bunch of charging cords in there. So if they break, whatever. So the next solution I thought to myself is, okay, if I pick this up and throw up my pack or my truck and I walk out the door and I'm out in the woods and I need to recharge batteries, how do we do that? Well, battery banks, the first first good answer to that question right so I found this one this is 30 almost 37 amp hours so it's 36,800 milliamp hours but this one has these really cool it's got micro USB it's got USB-C and it's got iPhone lightning I guess is what it's called all built in and it does magnetic charging and it has regular USB ports that you can charge off of it is waterproof it does in fact have a flashlight on it flashlights not quite as good as what it is on them other battery banks I don't I don't think but this thing is pretty high capacity. So I have tested now about six of these looking for a solar cell. Now this solar cell is actually one of the best out there on a battery pack. Um, I These blue ones that I bought, which if you watch the other video, I uh, I really, these have value just in that light. That is crazy bright. And I have one running downstairs. It's been going almost seven hours, and it's still going strong. I bought this one that I'm actually using right now to charge GoPro batteries. Uh, oops. As he knocks the GoPro over. Sorry. up here all right there we go uh, so I can set this out in the Sun and recharge it should I need to but I wanted a way to charge this and get more charging whether it's to charge batteries directly or charge off that. Enter this solar charger that lives in here just like that. All fits. One big package. This is three cells, 21 watts, and then it's got this handy dandy pocket in here. And here I put charging cable I bought that has all four ends on it. It's got two lightnings, one USB-C and one micro. That's the one that comes with the bumps. Uh, a 
couple of just the ones that come with the uh, J or ELBs. And it's got some carabiners because it's meant to hang on things. See it flashing green in there? Just out of the ambient light in here, it's getting enough to actually start charging. Which is, this thing is really, really good. And I carry an extra battery, button battery charger. So, I have extra cables. I have my charging availability for this. And this will charge this from flat. And a, uh, if you do the math on it, it's about a day and a half. Real world, you're probably looking to two, two and a half, three days to charge that up from flat. Uh, but it will do it. And in direct sunlight, it'll charge any four of these batteries. Actually, eight, because I can put, there's two ports in there. So, the whole purpose of this was to make a kit that could sit in the house uh, as, uh, let's see if I can do this without losing my camera again, as uh, I currently have button battery in this and uh, the EBL CR123As. I'm not spending a fortune on these by trying to buy them all at once. I mean, you could, I guess, if you wanted to. But, uh, I am... I've got several on auto order. Like, I have the, uh, the CR123s on auto order. I have... A's on auto order. I have a couple of kits of these bumps because I'm going to... I bought the EBLs and unless there is just a drastic difference between the triple A's and the EBLs or the, the bumps, I'm going to let it auto order so I can kind of populate more at a time. Because this kit with two of the double A's and two of the triple A's is like 16 bucks. And the bumps claim they get more uh, more charging cycles. After I test, which I actually plan to go get lights today to test the the double A's. After I test those, that might change. I'm gonna do a real test. I'm gonna go get three identical flashlights. Uh, double A's and three identical triple A's and put a set in them and set them side by side downstairs where the security system can watch them and then uh, see which ones run out fastest but as I put batteries I'm going to fill this case up I'm also going to get some uh, the 18650's I believe is what they're called uh, I'm going to put some 18650s in here too just to have them because I do use 18650s in the uh, T-beams which there's going to be videos coming on that uh, and EBL does make uh, 18650 rechargeable this is as I use batteries out of here like as I take I have I currently have three sets of four of the uh, CR 123s, so I've populated my EOTEX with them and uh, a couple of different flashlights. This is once I have it completely populated with batteries. As I use, as I take batteries out that are going to go in long wear devices. Uh, TV remotes for instance I'll replace those batteries and I will have this completely populated so the day comes that I feel the need to leave here in a hurry I can just grab this case and go and still be able to use all of my dot optics and my flashlights and all that stuff so 
that was the mindset in this box. Uh, I'll have links to everything that I bought. Uh, somebody has made a comment that I just, and I already deleted it because it was stupid. Uh, but I want to address it. The whole, hey, you got a, you know, Amazon link. Yes, those are Amazon, the links to this are Amazon affiliate links. First of all, it doesn't cost you a penny if you use them. It's not a penny more worth of profit. Second of all, I don't make near what uh, what I spend on this kind of stuff. I mean, I used to make much, much better money from YouTube and Amazon. Uh, Amazon has taken their 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 affiliate profits down to where it's almost not even worth doing it anymore. It's down around two and a half percent for some stuff. And YouTube demonetized most of my videos because of the gun content. Uh, so I think so far this year on for Amazon affiliate links I've made like sixty five dollars. There's more than sixty five dollars sitting right here. Uh, in fact, I ordered three more of these this morning, and it was 60 bucks. So, I promise you, I'm not getting rich off of it. It just, it, it does help take the edge off a little bit, uh, and allows me to buy more stuff, and it also allows me to give you my honest opinion of it. Uh, these green batteries... Yes, they're USB-C, but I just, I don't feel like, they don't feel sturdy enough plugging them in to me. Uh, who cares? So, that is the, uh, that is the, uh, the battery box in a nutshell. Uh, I think with this was 40ish dollars the solar panel was 40ish bucks the, the case was like they do have a 28 watt version of this now it's a quad panel it says it's the same size compacted. I don't know. Uh, I am going to order it. It's a good bit more money. It's almost 70 bucks, but I am going to order it because if I get 28 watts opposed to 21, well, wouldn't you? Uh, the battery box was 20 bucks. So I got 80, I got 100 bucks just in the solar charging and the case. <coughs> And then the batteries for those was 20, 40, 60, 80. Probably have another 140 ish, 160 ish dollars. It'll probably be around 250, 300 full batteries. So with the box and the solar chargers and all that, now we're looking at $400, I guess. Uh, ish but this gives me the ability to walk out the door with all the batteries I would ever need or just have it here and stop buying I mean you go to Lowe's and buy a brick of whatever it is 30 20 whatever uh, whatever a brick a double A's cost Three of them a year, packs of, of nine volts where you use one pack and then I lose the rest. I always do. Uh, CR123As, a 10 pack of those from Surefires. 25 bucks, I think. And I was eating through, depending on the kind of training I was do, as many as three or four packs of them. This is a year's worth of batteries does half of this case so it'll pay for itself in a couple of years in my opinion uh, 
and it all fits together in this nice little handy dandy package so that is my battery solution and uh, I don't sell any of this on the gun guy but any other stuff you might need gunguypa.com guns ammo knives anything firearms related magazines fishing we got all kinds of fishing stuff on there. there's like 60 70 thousand products on the website or uh you can stop by the store store you know or between brockway and dubois in uh, northwest pennsylvania so stop in and see us but uh i hope this gives somebody an idea the uh the new charging i love these as opposed to the charging bricks that you had to have because a those took up an enormous amount of space and B I can use any micro USB cable or any USB 3 cable and charge one battery or two batteries at a time if I need to does not have these are not specific so that has value too but uh appreciate you guys watching uh same thing as everybody else like share subscribe that helps make comments i mean if you have a better solution to batteries that i haven't found yet i sure appreciate a comment hey try this i'll try anything uh, and uh, i hope this helps somebody else